Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to another session. So in this session, uh, we are going to start the web development. Uh, so you are front end side development for our product. So as we know, so far we have uh, completed the API side development uh, for login API, as well as we have created one more project for API and uh, we have created the database in uh, SQL server. So uh, for login API, we have completed the end to end development. Like uh, there is one API we have created from that API. We used to connect to the database in the database. We have added some uh, dummy users so that if we use the credentials for those users, then uh, we will be able to successfully validate the login credentials. Otherwise, it, it will return the error message. So that functionality we have completed in the last session. In this session, I think uh, it's very good uh, time to start the front end development. So where uh, we will create one web application project by using the .NET Core. And in that project, we will set up one, one of the HTML bootstrap open source template. And once we're done with that template, we can just uh, create the login page so that uh, we can call whatever API login API we have, we have created by using the .NET Core APIs. We will start calling that API from the front end. So we will complete the end to end functionality. So there will be one front end page in web API project, sorry, web UI project. From that uh, page, we will call the login API from the login API. We will call the database. From the database, we will validate the credentials and accordingly, we will return the response to the UI. If credentials are correct, we will uh, allow user to the redirect to the dashboard page. Otherwise, we will show the error message. So this is our uh, next task. I will show you all the bullet points which we are going to cover in this session. So first thing, we'll need to create a new project for the front end application. Okay, so we will have basically three type of clients. One is web application client, Android application client, and iOS application client. So web application client means your web UI, where you can access that web application through the internet using the Chrome browser or any other Firefox browser. Okay. So basically web application, we can access from the browser over the internet, Android application, you will have to install on your Android phone and iOS application. You will have to basically install on your iPhone. So this is the one of the client we will complete. First of all, once we're done with everything for this application, then we will start the development for Android and iOS, but let's focus on this. Okay. As you know, we have this project and this project. Now we are going to work on this project for API project. If I go to the GitHub there, I have created one project that is in the repositories. That is your, this one talent to track API, right? Now we are going to create another project that will be your talent to track UI or front end. Okay. So that is your first bullet front. We will create one project in .NET core MVC. Next one is we need to download one of the template, which we will configure in our UI project. So this will help us to not work on the HTML, CSS core functionality. It will be ready-made UI we will have on top of that. We can write our own custom UI pages and we will also have to work on HTML, CSS as well, but on top of the ready-made template. So that way, it will be helpful us to fasten our UI development and we can focus on the core functionality of our product. Next is once we configure the template, we'll definitely create the login page. Okay. Once we create the login page, then we will call the web API from our login page. And accordingly, we will show the error message if credentials are correct. Otherwise, we will navigate it to the dashboard page. So this is our short term goal for this session. Let's get started. Okay. Now here we are having this talent to track folder in this, uh, we have created a talent to track API. I'm going to create one more repository on the GitHub. Uh, if I go to the repositories here, repo, then I will create new repository called as talent to track UI. Okay or front end front end description 
this is ui project or web application okay then public readme create repository okay now i will need to check out this project to my local uh, computer how i can do that uh, there will be a clone button somewhere this one copy go here right click git tortoise clone okay here i will add talent to track fronted git then click on the okay button that's it you will see in your in the background there is one more folder got created talent to track front end close this pop up now we are having two different projects one is for front end one is for back end inside the front end there is nothing so far we will need to create a front end project how to create that go to your visual studio this is your api project let keep it open open your another visual studio 2022 okay in this click on the create new project option here okay once you click on that here you will file some ready-made templates so this is your web api project this is your console application in dotnet framework this is your class library i want web application in dotnet core asp.net core web application okay so this involves creating a asp.net core application with example of razor pages content yes we require this one only click on the next here give the name to your project that okay talent to track underscore front end okay i wanted to create this project inside this folder of uh, d talent to track front end select folder okay and now click on the next button i am going to use dotnet 7 which is our latest version of the dotnet as of now and click on the create button so basically it will create one front end application for you uh, in dotnet core and then you can configure all the mvc pattern there so if i go to the solution explorer you can see there you will find a ww root folder, pages folder, app settings.json file, and program.cs file for the dependency injection and uh, your startup configuration. Okay. Okay, great. Now so far we have created a new brand new project for the front end where we do not have any pages so far. Uh, let me check. Okay, I wanted to create a MVC application actually. So this is not MVC. Give me a minute. Yeah, so by mistakenly, we have created a web application project which was not having the MVC framework. Now uh, we will create MVC project again. So again, uh, go to your Visual Studio, click on new project. And here you will have to choose .NET Core MVC. Okay, model view control, this one. Don't choose this one, .NET Core Web App, uh, but instead of that, take this one, .NET Core Web App in MVC pattern. Okay, click on the next. Here again, uh, give the proper name like this, and go to your front end folder. So inside this, I wanted to create a project. So choose that click on the next button and click on the create button okay yeah now you can see uh, there is one front end project got created where you will find one ww root folder for the css and javascript file configuration and there will be one controllers folder there will be one models folder there will be one view folder so model view controller mvc pattern we are going to use for front end project and back end project also if you notice we are using controllers uh, and uh, 
models only this one controllers so this is also mvc pattern in api and uh, front end also we are using the mvc pattern so what is the mvc in inside the controller we will have the actual the uh, business logic of your front end project where uh, it will help you to maintain manage the request and response here we will have the database schema replica and everything or some models uh, which we, you will require for your application and views is nothing but your front end uh, presentation layer where you will have html css related code combined in a form of uh, css html file what is css html css html means c sharp html where you can combine your c sharp code along with your uh, html and css code okay so this is your server side pages basically now if i run this project you will see uh, there is home controller is now automatically get created inside the home controller you will see some pages like index page privacy page these pages got automatically created okay we are not going to we haven't created these pages as of now these got created automatically so same thing we have to do for our uh, product like for our login page as well we will create our new pages for that but let's see whatever pages got created how they are looking like by default so i have just what i did i have just run this project by clicking on this https button now it will run automatically you can see this is your front end application where welcome page uh, we can call it as a home page this is your privacy page this is your home page okay so if i go to the home uh, you can see the url this is your host name this is your port number if i click on the privacy home slash privacy privacy so this is your routing what is routing routing is basically uh, tells our uh, application that which controller need to be called which action method need to be called so if i want if i click on the privacy button it should display the privacy policy page this is this will define on the basis of your current route current url so it involves it tells us that we need to go to the home controller and we need to go inside the privacy action method so inside the home controller if i go here there will be a privacy action method okay if i right click on this action method and click on the go to view there will be a view page privacy.cshtml here you can find use this page to detail this text which is now visible in the browser okay fine use this page to detail your privacy policy so same thing is available here so how our controller how our application we identify that which page need to be display on the browser it is all depend upon the current route current url okay so inside the url there is some parts like this https so this is your protocol okay protocol protocol defines uh, that uh, how you are going to access the content for the current website i am going to access the content over the http protocol it is a stateless protocol request and response form it, it is working now this is your host name host name local host i am running my project locally so that's why local host on the local host this is the port number we are running this project every application will have its own port number right so this is your front end application and this is your front end applications port number if i go to the back end application back end means api project this is your back end application and this is your back end applications port number 7050 this is your front end applications port number 7197 this is dynamically generated now after the port number whatever you will see that will be helpful for our application to understand which page we need to display on the window so here they uh, they have mentioned home slash privacy home means controller name privacy means action name so inside the home controller inside the controllers folder there should be a controller home controller class inside the home controller class there will be privacy action method these are the action methods 
Each action method is nothing but your web page. Okay. Index is one of the web page. Privacy is another web page. Index is your home page. Privacy is your privacy page. Every web page will have the HTML content. So how mapping? What is the directory structure of the MVC application? You can see how mapping is working in every controller will have the folder inside the views folder. You can see uh, we are having home controller here inside the controls folder. So this controller inside the view, we will have one more folder called home. Whatever pages you will find inside the home folder is nothing but all the action methods available inside the home controller. So this is the mapping between web page and the controller action method. Okay. So how routing works. ASP.NET page lifecycle, how it works. That is very important. If you know that how routing works in the ASP.NET, then you can find any pages only by looking at the URL. You don't have to have a knowledge about the whole project. If I provide you URL, you can directly go to the source code of that page. How? See, URL has controller name and the action name. So home controller, we need to find first. Go to the home controller. This is your home controller. I go there. Now I wanted to open privacy policy page. So privacy policy page is available uh, under the home controller. See, is there any action method called as privacy? Yes, it is available. So this privacy is your page name and the web page, uh, HTML content for this page will be available inside the view folder. View means presentation layer. Here you will find all the CS HTML file. So go inside the view, find home controller folder that is home, find privacy, privacy.cs HTML file, which will be your privacy page. If you open that, you will find the HTML content. Whatever changes you will do here, these will come to Welcome to ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay. P for paragraph tag. Okay. His, we have already learned this, right? P for paragraph tag. Now here, if I change the content and click on this one, what is this? Hot reload. If you click on this one, whatever changes you will make here, it will get applied to your browser. You can see after few seconds it will get changed yeah now welcome to the sp.net mvc this is my first this is my first dot net mvc web ui project full stop save hot reload okay this is mandatory if you change anything save that click on the hot reload it will get reflected here this is my first dot net mvc ui project so this is how you can work with the UI project, front end project in the by using the ASP.NET MVC. How routing works now? Okay, you will get to know. I mean, you will get to know which page we are currently showing in the browser by looking at the URL only. In the URL only, they have mentioned this is the controller name, this is the action name. If you have the controller name and action name, you will easily find out the source code of this page inside your code. How to find? Go to this controller find this page action method and go to the view folder find this CSS HTML page you will find the code this is your code okay every page has a layout file okay inside the shared folder there is a layout file layout.cs HTML file is this layout file is nothing but your master layout master file for each and every view okay as you know in HTML like uh, every HTML file used to start with the HTML tag, right? This doc type is for uh, displaying whether it is HTML5 or not. But this HTML tag your is your starting tag, root tag of your HTML pages. And then we are having head, we are having body, header, all this is semantics tags, right? So all these things you will find inside the layout page because these tags are common across all the pages. Okay, so layout file will contain the common code. Common code can be, if you notice, if I go to the home page, here we are showing one logo, home menu, privacy menu. 
if I go to the privacy page, we are still showing that logo home menu and privacy menu means even though I navigate between any other page, any other page between this website, web application, this top bar is not going to change. Same thing goes to footer as well, right? If you see 2023 talent to track front end privacy, if I click on home, it is not going to change. If I click on the privacy, it is not going to change only the content which is available in the body part not header part not footer part in the body part whatever changes we have mentioned only those changes those contents are going to change are changing it means this is the common code across multiple pages header is common footer is common only body is body is changing so whatever is changing for that we will create a separate view under the respective controller but whatever code is common like header footer anything common code we will add inside the layout file so layout file will hold the common code across the multiple pages okay and the unique code which is going to change on the basis of the currently op the open page that we will write inside the each and every CS HTML file okay so this is how we have created the new front end project now let me create uh, another controller we will create the login page right we will need to create the login page first so let me check the requirements create new project front end okay so this we have created in the dotnet core mvc now we will download the bootstrap template and we will configure that template in our ui project in the next session let me stop the recording